The clerk's office became aware of the false petition on January 26th after not being able to confirm signatures or addresses on the petition forms. Rolfs tells me the addresses on the forms don't even exist. The signatures do not match those in the state system. The petition was filed for a Democratic hopeful for the May presidential primary. Rolfs says this suspected fraud causes great concern for her office. She adds a main focus of her office is maintaining election integrity. I promised that election integrity would be my number one priority as your county clerk. It is one year later, and I continue to be diligent regarding election integrity. Rolf says her office contacted the county election board, the Indiana State Police, the Indiana Secretary of State, and the Indiana Election Division. She adds the police visited her office for their investigation, and her team has cooperated. We have followed all of the protocols that were given to us by Indiana Election Division. So now everything gets turned over to the state police, and they will continue with their investigation. Overall, Rolfs wants St. Joseph County voters to know they are taking the possibility of election fraud very seriously. Every process is heavily scrutinized to make sure that we are following election code. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to the WSBT22 YouTube channel.